Alright, so here I got a battle against some random ass dude from a stream somewhere, and I'm using this rain team that I've been using, and I will be using for the next few videos. And the other dude, he's running a bunch of standard shit, he's running a bunch of threats, Salamance, Garchomp, Landorus, Rotom, all threats. Titar and Skarm aren't really threats, but the Skarm will be kind of annoying, and then the Titar would come in here and try to win the weather war, even though I don't necessarily need weather too much. But obviously it does help. So uh, the main thing I'm going to try to do in this battle is kill the Skarmory. Since um, after Skarmory dies and Rotom gets weakened down, um, my Mammal Swine pretty much has a field day on his team. Because he has three pokes that are quad weak to ice. And he has a T-Tower which will not be able to take some earthquakes. So depending on what Rotom he's running uh, Politoed is probably gonna do a shitload of damage to it with some Specs Hydro Pumps because he doesn't really have anything else to send in into Politoed uh, he does have Salamance but assuming I get up my rocks it's not gonna want to take some Specs Hydro Pumps and he's probably not gonna go into it first turn simply due to the fact that he will be unable to kill me and Rotom could obviously Volt Switch out on me so uh, I'm looking out for that so other than Skarm and Rotom, uh, I don't really see too much of a problem, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so I'm going to lead off with Gastrodon, since nothing on his team can really one hit KO it, and I could always try to fire off some scouts and get some burns. So he leads with Titar, I don't really give a fuck. I'm assuming he's going to go into Rotom to try to dodge the Earthquake, but I guess he assumed that I didn't have the, the Earthquake, that I'd have the Earth Power, but... In any case, he would have been able to live both, but that just makes it that much easier for me to win the weather war, so I don't give a fuck. Now I thought he was going to go into Rotom, and he goes into Salamance, not the best play in the world. But since he did that, I'm assuming he's going to be a uh, mixed Salamance with Draco Meteor. So here my plan was to pretty much live the Draco Meteor and then kill him off with the Ice Beam. But instead he decides to go for a Dragon Dance, so uh, I guess he assumed I'd be running Scald. I mean, not Scald, obviously I run Scald, but Toxic, since a lot of times Gastrodon run Toxic, you know how I do it, I don't like to wait for shit to die, I like to kill it, so, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna try to break this Skarmory sturdy, hopefully get a burn, still not getting any fucking burns, which is kinda lame, but whatever, now that I broke his sturdy, that's gonna leave me free to go into Politoed, fire off some Specs Hydro Pumps, I knew he might go into Rotom, I do have the HP Grass, but I didn't go for it because I knew Hydro Pump will do over 50% to be honest. Uh, if he's a Scarf variant, if he's not, then it's still going to do um, around, I don't know, 30%. Which is, to be honest, which is all I need in order for my Terrakion to come in here and kill it, assuming he is Scarfed. So I predict him to trick my Gastrodon, stay in there with um, Politoed. Now I got Scarf Politoed. He's got Specs Rotom. And I'm going to go into Gastrodon predicting the Volt Switch. Then he goes into Skarmory. Then he goes for Ruse. Then he goes for Spikes. Then I'm just going to try to stay here. All these fucking turns. Hoping and waiting for my fucking burn. Which I end up never actually getting. And he actually ends up getting all of his hazards up. Which will play a big role later on obviously. Since now I can't really switch out as freely as I would have liked. But Skarmory's dead. So now Mammoth Swine has one less uh, check he has to worry about. And he's going to be able to fire off some eye shards on his team. So, again, I predicted him to go for Trick here. So, I'm going to go into Politoed because, um, yeah, that's what I did the last time. And, yeah, now he's going to go for Volt Switch. I could have gone back into Gastrodon, which probably would have been the better play. But I decided he might predict that. So, I stand in here go for another Hydro Pump. But... He goes for Volt Switch, so he essentially wins the Weather War. I don't give a fuck. I got Mammoth Swine, which destroys most of his team. So I go into Gastrodon again, knowing that nothing on his team could kill me. And he's going to go into Landorus. Does a fuckload of damage, so I'm thinking he might have been Bandit or something. But whatever. Now, I fire off an Ice Beam, kill that shit off. He goes into Garchomp. So he goes into this Garchomp, and I know he's not going to go for the Outrage because... If he goes for Outrage, he's going to be locked in here. He will be unable to switch out the following turns. Gastrodon sitting here at like 10%. Any move will fucking kill him. So if he goes for Outrage, not only will he be locked in, I could potentially switch out into my Jirachi to resist. And then if he does use Outrage, he'll be locked in here. I could go for Body Slams. I could go for Iron Heads. Flinch the fuck out of him. 
And if he does go for outrage, even if I do decide to stay in, I got Mamma Swine waiting. And if he goes for outrage, he will be unable to switch out. I could ice shard that bitch, do a ass load of damage to where Horse will be able to come in here and one kill him with the fucking close combat. But you know what he does? He goes for fucking outrage. So he ends up going for outrage, which was fucking stupid, but I ended up going into my Tornadus expecting him to go for the Earthquake, but he locks himself in the outrage. Now I'm gonna bring in a Mammoth Lion and I shard the fuck out of him. Except I misclick and I ended up going for something else, not I shard, so that's pretty gay. So now I'm gonna go into Jirachi and I start playing really fucking stupid just because. I don't know, all the hacks, missing hydro pumps, him going for outrage, and all that stupid shit. I ended up switch, double switching out into Terrakion, assuming he'd go into Tyranitar, but there's no reason for him to go into Tyranitar since I could have been the standard Jirachi with Iron Head, and he has no way of knowing that I uh, call mine Jirachi. But his Rotom ends up missing Hydro Pump, which I guess wouldn't have mattered if he, I didn't miss my Hydro Pump in the first place. So now it's all up to Horse. Can he do it? I have done it in the past. All he's got left is Tyranitar. I need to crit this fucking Garchomp. Kill that bitch and then that's it. So it's going down, down, down. We're almost there. Can I do it? He's done it before. You already know. Nope. So I didn't get the crit, which is kind of gay, which pretty much means that I lose. But then he goes for a fucking outrage. It's like, what the fuck, dude? I've only got Jirachi left. Why not just use Earthquake? What the fuck is it with this dude and not using Earthquake when he needs to use it? So, it doesn't fucking matter, because Garchomp kind of sweeps me. So, uh, if I'd have gone for Ice Shard and not misclicked, I would have won. But if I didn't suck so much at this game, I would have won. If I wasn't a fucking loser, I wouldn't be so upset. So, comment rate, all that shit, I'm out.